Hello booktube and welcome to Friday Reads. It's Friday the 18th and this is a just an overview of what I've read last week, uh, what I hope to read the following week, and also some new arrivals um, that have... Uh, it's been a while since I've done anything like that, but I haven't had too many things, but uh, we'll get to those in a minute. Uh, for what I've read is that I read for Book to Film, which will be hopefully tomorrow, but maybe a bit late again. I always say that, but I'm, I'm a bit behind um, with with uh, doing uh, things with it. But I've read The Lodger by uh, Mary Belloc Loundis, and that was written in 1913. It's a Jack the Ripper, basically, um, novel it was the first jack the ripper novel to be written and she was quite a prolific writer as well and alfred hitchcock's 1927 uh version of this uh the lodger or uh what's it called this a story of the london fog um and it stars ivor uh, novello and it's uh, it's a silent as i said or if i didn't uh, it is silent this is the criterion edition of it i have a uk network edition as well which i'll show tomorrow there are differences in the um presentations of these on the blu-ray so and i'll get into that uh as uh for for the uh, book to film and for the february fantasy uh stories I read the first quarter of this Conan collection, The Coming of Conan the Sumerian. Uh, this is uh, uh, an edited uh, version. There's three volumes of all the Conan stories. Del Rey has put out Valentine books uh, of the original stories. And I didn't get too well. I didn't get along too well with them. Um, so uh, I'll be shelving this for some time uh until i get around to reading any more uh conan stories i read five uh for the february fantasy so it's i'm not batting uh, very well for for uh the fantasies but i'm hoping for the last two two weeks i'm i'm a week be, uh, behind generally so uh but i'll i'll catch up to a certain extent uh also, too, I read the third uh, Bulldog Drummond book, The Third Round, uh, by Sapper, H.C., uh, uh, Herman, uh, Cyril McNeil. Uh, and this they don't say what year this one was published, but we're talking uh, 1920s. Um, and it's the whole series, all his, or most of his... Uh, uh, or all the Bulldog Drummond, anyway, is published by the House of Stratus, which I do like them as a publisher, uh, except that they've gone to print-on-demand, and as you can see, the Amazon print-on-demand is crap. Uh, you know, they, uh, for their covers. Everything else is, is okay. And, and they're, they're, they're well-made in the sense that they're, they're this a normal paperback but uh the paper is pretty good and the binding is, is is quite good and then we read for the future history project the first of the trilogy of uh, the susan calvin trilogy called i robot and the first volume was to protect uh written in 2011 by mickey zucker reichardt uh a physician a podiatrist uh no not podiatrist a pediatrician a little different between feet and children, I think, yeah. Uh, a, a podiatrician. And uh, mixed feelings uh, about this. I did a video about this as well. Um, so, uh, but it's the first of a trilogy, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, and also today, I was reading, I didn't get very far in it, uh, for some reason uh today just sort of got away from me is uh something i wanted to read last week as well but it's uh it's getting pushed back again for another week uh is rabelais and his worlds uh by mikhail bakhtin and translated by translated by helena iswalski 
this was published originally in uh, 1965, but first translated, uh, I think, in uh, 64, 64, or actually it says 1936, so I think it was, because I think it's actually a dissertation, so uh, there were permeations of it, uh, but ni yeah, uh, 1984 for the uh, Indiana University Press uh, publication of this. So it's proven okay. Uh, it's slow going. Uh, the well, I think what bogged me down was the uh, introduction to forward and the prologue by somebody else, and I just going, what are they talking about? But anyway, um, so I've I've uh, I'm now into the actual book, so that should pick up. Uh, so and for next week, uh, what we're gonna? Well, no, first of all. I'll do the New Arrivals uh, books, uh, because there's a few of those which are quite quite nice uh, to have. And I need to reach something here if I can. Of course, I didn't get it sorted before I turned on the film or the camera. Excuse me. There we go. Okay, well, in anticipation of March Mystery Madness, I think that's our mystery, Mar yeah, Mystery March Madness, I think. Um, March Mystery Madness, March Mystery Madness, no, that's probably better, uh, is um, a very slim book, uh, it's hundred less than 160 pages, it's Isaac Asimov's first pure mystery uh, crime novel that he wrote in 1958 uh, under the title uh, The Death Dealers. Uh, it did not do well. And it was reissued uh, in the early 70s by Sphere Books under the title A Whiff of Death. This is rough. It's broken along the spine, like broken this way. Um, and it's sun damaged, but... I only paid two pounds with uh, shipping for this, so um, I thought I thought I would have a physical book, at least one, to read for uh, March Mystery Madness, um, because the others are going to be ebook. Uh, his other mysteries, Black, uh, the Black Widowers, and the ABC Murders. Um. Yes, and then a, a number of weeks ago, I received, I got these. I, I've had a, a yen to reread and complete uh, the the uh, Sax Romer's uh, Dr. Fu Manchu stories. Um, and I was able to find uh, some used ones. This is the first volume. Uh, it's used, but it's, it's in really good shape. Uh, and this is, I think, I thought it was number two, but it's actually, I think, number four on the list. Doesn't really matter a whole lot from what I remember, but uh, I'll wait until I get, uh, say, two and three as well. And then I will uh, embark on a Dr. Fu Manchu uh, read. I think there's 12 or 14 of the uh, of the novels that were written for various, various lengths. Um Oh, uh, and uh, I've, I've, something that came very a big surprise. Well, there's a couple of surprises, uh, but we'll get to uh, the other one here. On Friday, yes, no, Thursday, yeah, yesterday, uh, I received in the post uh, from Amy at the Dusty Bookshelf uh, in Ottawa, Canada. She sent me a book at the end of November, and it finally showed up. Uh, the date was, I think, November 25th that she... She sent this to me, and again, thank you so much, Amy. Uh, it is Pierre Burton's uh, Hollywood's Canada, uh, the Americanization of our national heritage. It's a history, uh, a popular history of film in Canada, and I, I wanted to reread this again, so this, this will be nice. This is going to be hard not to pick up, so uh, we'll have to see what happens maybe in a few weeks. Uh, I might I might break down and pick that up and read it, which is no big crime. <laughs> um, 
let's see what else do we have here uh yeah i think the next uh, big thing is um from uh one of you one of my subscribers that uh uh purchased uh something from my wish list which is down below in the in the contents uh, section my amazon wish list and uh they were uh, really graciously enough to uh nice enough of them to to purchase Samuel R. Delaney's Dahlgren. It's a big, over 800 pages. I've wanted to reread this for a long time now, so I'm definitely going to be doing that sooner than later. And uh, Alan Bates uh, in The Caretaker. It's a Harold Pinter uh, uh, film, and uh, it's directed by Clive Donner. Uh, very good film. This is uh, BFI, which put out good, uh, very good material. Um, so yeah, so that was, that was a big surprise this year as well. Um, when this came earlier in the week, uh, with the, the DVD and, or the Blu-ray. So thank you so much for, for this. And I'm going to bump this up, as I say, to read, uh, next week. So that's, that'll start off my, uh, what I'm going to be reading in the coming week. Uh, I had planned on, or a lot, well, it was sort of, somewhat last minute plans to read Daniel Deronda by George Eliot. Uh, and as many of you know that I'm, I'm, I'm hopping in on, uh, Mar uh, March of the Mammoths, uh, 800 plus page books. And I'd already set out, uh, that I'm going to read the Decameron. Uh, and then I had six more books, um, Bleak House, uh, Middle March, uh, Daniel Deronda, um, Vanity Fair, uh, Tom Jones, a foundling, and Little Dort. And, uh, I've, I've asked, um, I've asked you to pick which three that I'm going to read out of that. And so what comes up, uh, clearly is, is Bleak House, uh, Middle March and Tom Jones are the three. So, but I have not read Daniel Deronda, so I thought I would read it next week. But now Dahlgren bumps Daniel Deronda. <laughs> but I will get back to Daniel Deronda. Dur well, not back to it because I've never read it. But I'll get to Daniel Deronda either in April or May. So that's not a that's not a huge thing. Uh, also, too, will be the second volume of. Uh, Reichardt's trilogy, uh, Susan Calvin trilogy. Uh, this is I, Robot to Obey. This was published in 2013. Um, so fingers crossed for that picking up and being better than the first one. Also, too, uh, week three, which I'm behind, is is uh, Dark Fantasy for... Uh, f um, uh, February fantasy stories, and this is a, a an edition edited by uh, the, the British Library of their weird series or weird tales, uh, edited by Mike Ashley. So I'm I have I have high hopes for this. Um, I'm not going to be reading at all. I don't think unless I have time, but with what I am reading, it's going to be tough. And also too, I'm going to continue reading. Um, I'm I I you know as long as I get this done and sort of by the end of the uh, month or maybe beginning of of March I'm happy so I, I and there's no hurry for this so I'll fit this in when I can so I think that's it um, but again thank you everyone for for watching and um, and as I say if and and for those sending uh, some books and I really appreciate that this was this was uh, the Pierre Burton book was just a, such a such a uh, surprise and a nice surprise because I've wanted to read it. Uh, so thank you very much, Amy, for that. And thank you for the gifts from my wish list. And my wish list is down below in the, in the uh, description if anybody cares to uh, send anything. And, uh, but I, most of the time I get stuff. So if I don't, if I don't hear from, if, if I don't, 
um, mention it on here, but I might wait until sort of the end of the week to do it uh, from when I get it. But th there is occasionally times there's issues of receiving material. So if I haven't either directly contacted you or by the end of the week mentioned it, then please contact me and let me know because there might something might have gone awry with that. But, you know, that doesn't happen very often. So, um, but, but yeah, so there ends uh, the um, Friday Reads. Yeah, I'm just sort of looking through here. This is, this is well illustrated uh, as well. Uh, and it's, it's a lot to do with silent films. So that's just right up my alley. And I've wanted to read that again. So anyway, take care, BookTube. And I will see you tomorrow with... Uh, book to film, Lodger, and also an announcement for an April event, and that will be um, early evening my time. Take care, Bucktip.